All right, we're going to begin by looking at graphical analysis of linear motion. So we're going to look at graphs and what they all mean. And this will be a very quick, uh, most of you have had um, at least some pre-cal, so you've uh, you've done some work with graphing. So this will be um, kind of a review, but things to look for. First off, position time graph. So position is where we're at at any point in time. Um, we get a nice straight line there usually means we have a constant velocity what is the velocity is the slope so the slope of a position time graph will tell us our velocity now let's look at variable velocity if our velocity varies so here's a velocity time graph and at one time we have a constant velocity and then we have no velocity then we have a negative velocity and then we have no velocity how does that correlate um, I don't change in velocity. How does that correlate to a position time graph? Well, anytime our velocity is increasing, we're accelerating, which means our position time graph will take a curve that looks something like this. Um, as we start to level off and have a constant velocity, all right, what, what we see right here is that straight line. Now we go negative. So a negative acceleration forces us to have another curve. Another straight line on the velocity uh, time graph means constant, which means wherever that's at, that will be a straight line. So curved lines mean acceleration. Straight lines mean constant velocity on a velocity time graph. Um, the last thing is area under the curve. Uh, anytime we have a velocity time graph and we can find the area underneath our curve, that will be our displacement. I'm sorry, our distance traveled during that during that time frame. So we can find distance based off of our area under the curve. So let's take a look here. So we have a space probe um, traveling uniformly from 50 meters per second at time zero, so there's our point there, to 150 meters per second in 10 seconds. So that's here. Um, how far did it move between the two and six second time frame? Well, all we want to do is uh, use area under the curve to find that out. And, I mean, a couple things you can do is you can start to break things apart um, into uh, triangles and rectangles and do the math from there. And, I mean, that would be that would be the route to take. And you guys can do the math skills. If we find the area under the curve, we can find displacement.